your fiber comes from. These cute little girls. These are all girls. Kind of like the teenage girls. And they hum a lot and they bicker just like, oh, hi, just like a teenager would. I'm surrounded by you guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. This is the second time that I am recording this today because I made the error of thinking that I had pushed the record button, but not checking that the little red light in the corner was actually on. So I had a great chat with myself for 20 minutes. So let's do this again. <sighs> Welcome back. My name is Caroline. This is uh, my mostly uh, cross-stitch channel with a little bit of knitting and sewing and all the crafting, but mostly cross-stitch. I had a question from, I believe your name was Stephanie. I'm going off my memory from, from your comment um, from yesterday. It was a question about knitting my socks. And there were a lot of comments on yesterday's video because um, of the with the needle to giveaway from Lila Studios so there are a lot of comments on yesterday's video so I apologize for not going back in and hunting down your comment but I'm pretty sure it was Stephanie Stephanie asked um, I always see you show one big gray sock do you have another uh, yes I do so I have actually um, com fully completed the first sock this one's done and I, I usually get asked what this what the heck this wooden thing is that I have my sock on it's called a sock blocker they are not mandatory things to have if you would like to learn how to knit socks they're nice to have um, and th I like them because they make my socks look pretty when I show them to you um, lots of people use them uh, when they wash their socks they will put their socks on sock sock blockers to dry them so that they dry back in a nice shape um, but I mean, you can just block them on your feet, really. So they're not necessary, but boy, they, they make my, my socks look pretty. So uh, these are for my father-in-law. This is the first one done. Second big gray sock. Since I showed it to you yesterday, I managed five more rows. I have to be really careful, especially these decreased rows and when the weight of the yarn is hanging off at a funny angle, it really uh, can aggravate my can aggravate my thumb. So I have to be careful not to get too involved um, and lose track of time and keep going, 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 which I have the tendency to do because it's it's a little bit like eating chips. Once you get going, you just, so it's like, oh, one more round, one more round, one more round. I actually have to, I have to take note of how my hand is feeling and once I reach a certain point, I have to put it down. It's just, um, or else I will, I'll pay for it. So, so far so good, slow and steady. Once I get to more of a, um, once I have more of the saddle part of the foot knit so that it's a little higher up and then I have more of the weight of the sock hanging down here, then it's a little bit easier on my left hand. And it doesn't matter whether I use DPNs or a small circular, I still, I, I will always have this issue. It just seems to be um, because I am gaining in wisdom that, uh, you know, maybe a bit of arthritis or tendonitis or uh, Jaquervins, is that, is that the right name for it? Anyways, I really did a number on it early last year, early 2019. I actually had to shut the shop for about three weeks and um, rest my hand because there was a certain motion with one of the bags that I make, a Notions pouch, and um, what I was doing was I was using my hand to open up the, the corners of the bags like this and I must have done it, you know, 100, 200, 300 plus times 
and I think that motion of that that and it was it's it was quite a I like crisp corners in a bag <laughs> I should just use the poking tool but no I used my thumb instead so it's my own is it my own fault I don't know I don't know that that's what caused it so um, anyways it's neither here nor there I know now what to do in order to not make it worse I think that's the important takeaway from that so I have learned to listen and when it's saying, I think you had enough, then I do put it down. So five rows, but it's growing. See, it is actually, I have two more decreases to do. So in four rounds, I will be done the decrease, the gusset decreases, and I'll just be um, smooth sailing down the foot of the sock. So that's that. Okay, ink circles, ink circles, uh, I was gonna say Cirque de Circle. This is not Cirque de Circle. This is the Thread and I Mandela. And if you've been with me every day, you've seen it every day. So here's what I achieved this morning with my coffee. I did, I finished all the fill in in this bottom corner here. And I did manage to get to some of that green in here. All I've got to look at is this teeny tiny little screen. It's small enough that you'd think I would have noticed that the record light wasn't on, but I didn't. Um, so I'm really hoping that these colors are showing up a little bit better for you at home than they are for me on this tiny little screen. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so here's my screenshot picture for today. <laughs> Sorry, I jiggled the camera there. When I la I had my elbow on the table when I laughed. I I have my camera tripod. It's just one of those little octopus tripods and it's set up. It's John's. I stole his. Mine broke. Um, I have it set up on a stack of books and a DMC floss bobbin box. And so it's a little bit wobbly, especially when I, uh, when I jiggle the table. So ink circles, thread and eye mandala. And as soon as I have more information about the release of this re-release of this chart on ink circles website, I'll let you know but I don't know yet. Okay, the only other thing that I worked on last night was the Hope and Strength free PDF from Glendon Place. And as you can see, I finished. I, you know what, I say that a lot. It's so funny. When I was, I have, I've watched a few older videos of, my, of mine lately, trying to find whips and things like that. And I noticed I say, as you can see, all the time, all the time, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, I say it a lot. I will try very hard to use different language. So hope and strength, I carried on with, I added two more of the snowflake stars. They're so pretty and I, there are there are supposed to be three on each side and then so I hope to finish that third one tonight which the third one is going to be the same lighter purple that's right there that goes there and then giant lion here and here and I can't wait to stitch those so I'm going to do my very best to finish off the third snowflake star tonight so should be easily doable, right? In a snap, done like that. Uh, this is the 32 count jade linen from Picture This Plus and uh, the called for silks that I was, I was lucky enough, um, Cheryl, the um, Glendon Place designer sent me the supplies to stitch this and to encourage anyone else out there who wanted to stitch this along with me. So like I said, this is a free PDF download on her website, glendonplace.net. And there is a hashtag if you'd like to join in, um, hashtag Glen, uh, Glendon Place Hope and Strength. No, Hope and Strength Glendon Place Sal. Oh my goodness. I will look that up. I, it's in the drop down box below. So if you post a picture on Instagram, make sure you tag me. I'm already following the, ha the proper hashtag and then uh, I can, can see what you're up to too. So, beautiful.
beautiful. I am trying to put a few stitches into that every day because I think at the end of stitching that it's going to be, it's my memento of this time in our world. And that's why I'm stitching it for myself. And, and I, that I so appreciate Cheryl um, inviting me, giving me the opportunity to do it. So uh, I did mention yesterday there was a correction in the chart in the PDF originally um, when Cheryl originally launched the free PDF on her website, there was an error in the bottom in section five and six. And um, if you go and you just re-download sections five and six, the correction has been now done. If you've downloaded it in the last five, four or five days, it's all, it was already fixed and it's fine. So just a little side note there. Okay, um, I also mentioned yesterday that I am planning a new start for Mother's Day, which is also Sarah's birthday. So really, I'm, I'm doing it for Sarah. <laughs> she made me a mother. She did. With the needle too. I can't tell you, I just can't tell you how thrilled I am that I'm gonna start this. This is, this is my, you know, everybody else is, who is participating in mania and starting all of these wonderful things. This is why I'm, I'm giving myself, it's not that I'm giving myself permission. That's not the right way to say it. Just, I'm not gonna feel bad about another new start that's massive. That's what I like to stitch. It brings me tremendous joy. And any kind of joy right now, I think is a good thing. If it brings you joy to work monogamously on one project until it's completed and that's your joy, then that's, you know, that's awesome. We're all different. And right now I'm just oh, I'm so excited. I was dreaming about this project last night. So I had to go hunting for fabric this morning and I found the perfect piece. It's like it was fate. This is the very last of my Patriots brew. This is a 40 count r, &R reproductions fabric. It is the very last of a full yard that I purchased three or four years ago from Thread and I before they closed down, but I mean, it was well before they closed down. I, I, I started uh, the 2018 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along on a, a large piece of it. I stitched, oh, I've stitched, I've st stitched a few other things on it as well off the top of my head. I can't quite remember, but I do, I love this fabric. I absolutely love this fabric and I think it's going to be perfect for the chart. I just, it's gonna be so pretty. So, so pretty. Now let's see, I have, I have the threads here too. These are the classic color works that are charted for it. I don't have a fancy floss ring yet. I, I have a ring, so I'll find it and I'll, I'll stick my cards on a ring. But look at, no, you can't see the fabric. Oh, you can't, I'm doing a terrible job of this. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But I'm too excited. Let me flip that, flip that up there. Look at that, oh, there, look. Oh. Okay, what I'll do is on Sunday, before I start it, I'll take a proper photograph of everything um, together before, before I start it. Kind of like a, you know, um, I don't know, marking the occasion. Okay, I received some happy mail. Uh, I mentioned a while ago that I had placed an order from Trish at Three Owl Threads and it arrived. It arrived yesterday. She has really cute packaging, really cute packaging. So again, this is Trish at 3L Threads and she has a shop on Etsy. I will link to her down below. And this was a complete splurge um, because I, I really, I, I bought my two market purchases from Threads Entwined, which were the Teresa Kogut patterns that I showed a couple weeks ago. 
but then you know this I saw someone else I don't even remember who purchased this good gravy I know I haven't shown you what it is but this came out and I saw a few other people buy it and I thought how could I not buy a Blackbird Designs sewing club book So I bought this for myself. Worth every penny. This was a complete splurge. I did not need this book. I did not need this book. I don't know when I'm going to stitch anything in this book, but I just, I think this is a book of dreams right here. Every single design that's in this book is stitchable by me. They are incredibly beautiful charts. The, uh, the two designers, the two Blackbird Designs designers, Barb Allen and Alma Allens, did I get that right? Barb Adams, yeah. I sometimes, I sometimes mix up their last names. Barb Adams and Alma Allen. Um, the Blackbird Designs ladies, I want them to keep designing and so I'm going to keep buying their stuff. And I, I know that, you know, they're a very popular designer and they're not in any danger of, of people not buying their charts, but I will buy their charts out of appreciation because this is just, this is, I mean, this is heirloom stitching. Remember my Christmas garden? These, these charts are, are phenomenal. Phenomenal. The battery just died on me. I'm not having much luck with filming this video today, so I better hurry up and say goodbye before something else happens. Um, happy Wednesday, everybody, and take care of yourselves. Happy stitching. I hope you have a few moments tonight to put a few stitches into a project that you really love or knit a few rows on a, a garment for yourself or anything, whatever brings you a few minutes of joy and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching.